Okay, so the first thing to do is to plug in our Ethernet. And our USB cables. So check they're in properly. Okay. The other end of our cables obviously need to be plugged into our computer, like so. There we go. Okay, once you've got your BeagleBand connected, it should mount to the desktop. There we go. The first thing you'll want to do is to install the FTDI serial drivers, uh, which are found uh, in drivers, Mac OS X, FTDI, and there's a disk image in here. So if you just mount that, and there's a package in here uh, which you'd install uh, as you would most packages. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with this process, so um, I've already done it as well, so I'm not going to go through it. But um, you continue and select your destination, um, and that would install. Okay. Um, and you can just eject, obviously, check that. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to go through is just uh, connecting to the Linux distribution on your BeagleBone. Um, to do that, just use this command here, so screen. Uh, this is the device you're connecting to, and these numbers at the end um, are the board rate, but you don't, shouldn't need to concern yourself with any of that. Uh, if you just type in the command uh, like that, uh, you should connect it to your BeagleBone. Okay, you might get what looks to be a blank screen here, uh, but if you just press return again, you'll get the login screen. The login for the distribution is just root, uh, and there's no password, so you get straight in. Uh, from here, um, you can execute commands, execute commands as you normally would, um, like so, and you can do whatever you want really. Um, for the purposes of this uh, video, uh, we don't need to change anything or do anything um, uh, inside Linux. So um, I'm just going to log back out and um, kill the screen. To uh, kill the screen, you want to press Command A K, um, Control A K. Sorry, apologies, um, and that will uh, present you with a yes no. Are you sure? You obviously, take yes. Uh, type yes rather. Um, you'll see, I'll do it now. So I pressed Control A, OK. Really kill this window. Why? There we go, the screen is terminating. Uh, the reason we want to terminate that properly is because if you just quit out of the terminal, the uh, process should, uh, may still be running um, and that may cause you um, problems if you try and connect back in um, and the process is still running. Um, It'll give you a resource busy um, error uh, and things like that. So it's best to terminate screen properly, obviously. Um, okay. So next thing we want to do is to eject the USB storage gadget here. And when we do so, it should invoke the USB Ethernet gadget. Here we go. Um, so a new network interface has been detected, uh, rndis slash ethernet gadget. Uh, if you click network preferences, you'll notice that this new interface has been added to our list here, um, but at the moment it isn't set up. However, if you just press apply, that should set that up working for you. There you go. So you're connected now. Got a green light, um, and you've got your IP address here. Okay, so that should all be fine. So we can quit the system preferences. Okay, so now we should be able to connect to our BeagleBone uh, via our browser. So we just load up a, a modern browser. Um, 
and put that in there. 192.168.7.2 that's what you want to uh, type. Okay. You get uh, shown this little uh, presentation here uh, which has some information about beagle balls and beagle bones um, but what you're probably more interested in uh, is in fact the um, Cloud9 IDE which can be found by going to the same address 192.168.7.2 on port 3000 okay. Uh, in here, you have various uh, examples. So, we've got uh, blinked.js here. Uh, and if we run that, uh, you'll see that one of the little LEDs on the beagle bone will flash on and off uh, with a one second delay. Um, so, I'm just going to run that now just to show you. Okay, so you see the output shown up there. Okay, and if you see this light here, the one at the bottom of these four LEDs, is flashing on and off with a one second delay between the flashes. Okay. If I press stop on the computer, so I'm going to press stop now you'll notice that this LED has stopped. Okay. And that's all there is to it, really. Um, so, gone through connecting up your beagle bone, um, getting the network interface set up on your uh, Mac, um, and uh, you can access Cloud9 uh, and write your code and uh, run it on your beagle bone. And I've also shown you how to connect um, to your uh, Angstrom Linux distribution um, over the terminal as well. Thank you for watching. Um, feel free to check out any of my other videos.